Welcome back, everybody. Well, since we've had all these snow days going on, everybody's kind of cooped up inside, so we brought Carl Nelson in from Imagination Station. Of course, Abby's helping us out this morning as well, our morning weather girl assistant. And so, Carl, give us some fun that we can do in the kitchen all right. with all these all kinds of gadgets. Cool stuff you can do at home. Abby, I'd like you to take this spray bottle of this... Uh, this mystery chemical and spray mm. it on her hand. Oh, right okay. on the palm of her hand. Give it a good spray. All right. Excellent. <laughs> now, what I didn't tell you is that chemical yes. will actually bring some of the blood from <gasps> your hand to the surface now of your gonna hand. Now it's going to corrode my palm. No. <laughs> but the, the, the tingling sensation will go away in just a second. But go ahead and slap your hand as hard as you can on the piece of paper. <gasps> oh, so check oh, that out. No. Now, it's not oh. really blood, okay? It's not really blood. We're just sort of faking you out here a little bit. All it is, Abby, go ahead and squirt the paper with that. Mm -hmm. so, okay. It's an acid base indicator. Oh, okay? that was funny. So it's called goldenrod paper. Mm -hmm. And a lot of plants have this ability to detect acids or bases. Mm -hmm. And um, I brought with me. Well, you could really freak someone out if you squirted that on there and they did could. that, huh? It's, it's they thought not I was bleeding. blood. It's not blood. I'm but, okay. <laughs> but I brought with me some red cabbage. Now, this stuff is cool because it is also an acid base indicator, okay? Mm -hmm. And so all you need is a, a few leaves of red cabbage, mm -hmm. um, throw it in a blender. Throw in some water. We like to do that, right, Abby? Now this All is right. this is the fun part, right? Now if you don't have a blender, you can chop it up uh, and boil it. Okay. With How much blender, water did you put in there? Oh, matter? just fill it up until the blender's filled up. All right. All you're shooting for is a nice purpley mixture. Yeah. Certainly not what you'd want to drink for breakfast, perhaps. Okay, yuck. But yeah. we're gonna just uh, we're gonna filter this right through that strainer. Ooh, how purple that is! Isn't it neat? Abby, you want to shake that out for me a little mm -hmm. bit? Mm -hmm. Shake this part. Oh. Yep. All right. Now, what we've extracted here is the juice from, I'll take that from you. The red Thank cabbage. Thank you very much. From the red cabbage. So check this out. It is, um, we're going to add it a little bit to our cups here because we're going to do an experiment with some household mm -hmm. chemicals. Don't worry about that. We're going to make okay. a mess for sure. All right. Uh, we're going to add it to some water. Okay. And it is going to let us know if the things that we add to the water is an acid or a base. Okay. Okay. Ooh. So you can see they all look the same to start with. Mm -hmm. I've got some. It's great for gardening too. Lemon huh? juice. Oh, lemons. Mm -hmm. All, right. all right. So, Abby, do you want to go ahead and squeeze the lemon I into can this do cup? That. Squeeze it as hard as you can. All right. Oh, it's turning Perfect. color, Abby. Look at that. It's turning pink. You see that? <gasps> Ooh. Right away. So we'll use our chopstick here, another home utensil. So now that it's <laughs> turned that purple liquid It's turned pink. the purple liquid pink, indicating that it's an acid. And I'll take oh, that from you. Oh, very good. Here, wipe your hands. In fact, I brought a whole bunch of things we mm -hmm. could try. In fact, the other thing that's completely opposite from the acid is the washing soda at the other end. Oh, this So stuff. go ahead and okay. dump some of that into our very last cup here. All right. Now I smell lemony fresh. Ooh, wow. <laughs> look at that. Lemony so fresh. So we get a green color. Oh, right, All right away, too. Look at that. So what you got red and green. This means it's an alkaline or a mm -hmm. base, mm -hmm. and the pink means it's an acid. Mm -hmm. So a question for you is, what do you think a egg white would be? Mm -hmm. What do you think? A uh, yellow color? Well, what do you think it's going to be more acid, or do you think it'll be more of an oh. alkaline? Um, I would guess more of an outcome. Alkaline? alkaline. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it and dump it in there. So we put a, a one egg yolk in there and right. mix it up a little bit. Oh, it's kind of a, it is more kind of a greenish color Kind of a green one. Good job. All right. A little bit different than the blue. There. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, how about some milk? You've heard of lactic acid? Mm -hmm. I'm going to say pink. All right, let's add a little a dash of milk in there. Not too much. Oh. Now, it's not quite as acidic as either of them. the mm -hmm. lemon juice, but it's definitely a little bit of a different color there. Right, right. Okay. But it's not green either. It's so not it green. Looks like, mm -hmm. So we got everything from blue. acid to the blue, which is the mm -hmm. neutral water, mm -hmm. all the way to a base. That is such a cool little experiment. Now, the, you know, of course, the cool thing is you've, you've chopped up and used that half a, or a few leaves of cabbage. The mm -hmm. um, question is, what do you do with the rest of the cabbage? Yeah. You should cook it up. Oh. <laughs> okay. um, you can search on the internet and find all sorts uh. of recipes for red cabbage and whatnot. The cool thing about this, too, is you're a big plant person, yes, right? Yes, I am. What, what are those um, uh, the plants that change color based on the acidity of the soil? Hydrangea. Hydrangea. Yeah. This is why hydrangeas have different colors. Oh, we do. built in acid base indicator. Look at that. You can do your own little experiments in your own kitchen to figure out how good your soil is as well, too. Thanks so much for being here, Carl. That's going to be a fun trick for everybody to do at home, too, isn't it? Stay right there, everybody. We'll have another look at your weather and Abby doing the weather after this.